Okay, this is lesson four. Here we're going to start from Tanur Rabbanon, which means the Rabbanon learnt. And uh, we're going to go until this Tanur Rabbanon down here. So, okay. So, Tanur Rabbanon. The Rabbanon learnt. Hamatnia koitseisav uzuchuchi yesav letech koisel shel chaveirei. This is if someone hides. Hamatnia is hides. Koitseisav is, is his thorns, which means a type of uh, something that could cause damage. And this is a is his glass, I'm talking about broken glass. And he puts it to Koisel Shel Chaver in his friend's wall. So in the olden days, they had walls. Some walls were wider than others, and um, maybe there were two sides to the wall. Uh, today, you can imagine this in a wall that's like sheet rock. You know, when you open uh, the door, if you don't have a stopper, you make a hole with the doorknob. It's like smashes through. Many bathrooms have holes behind the door um, in the wall. Now, in that uh, little hole, you can put things that maybe you don't want anyone to get uh, to get hurt from. I don't know, a razor blade, uh, some sharp thorn, a broken piece of glass. You put, you put it in. Anyway, this guy had a uh, these things, and he put it in his friend's wall. Uba bal koisel, the bal koisel came. Uba is came. The owner of the wall came. Vesasar Kaisle and he broke down his wall. Sasar is to so he broke the wall. Vinafal Rishasarabim fell into the Rishasarabim Vihiziku. Now those pieces caused damage. The the halach is Chayev Hamatsniya. The first person who put it in there is Chayev. Okay. I put this in red because this is the Brysar. Now is a statement from Rabbi Yechanan, was the early Amira in Eretz Yisrael. Amar Rabbi Yechanan. Rabbi Yechanan says about this price. So this is now in blue. Loi shanuela b'kaisel reuah. Loi shanuela. We we did this many times. That this phrase over here, loi shanuela, means we did not learn this only. It's like a bamedvarim amurim. When when were these last words said? That the person that that hit it is Chayiv, not the owner of the wall. We only learned that Bekaisel Ru'ua, if it's in a weak wall. It's a weak wall. Aval Bekaisel Bari. But if it's a strong, healthy wall, then Hamatsniya Pater. The one that hit it is Pater. Vechayiv Bala Kaisel. And then the owner of the Kaisel will, will be Chayiv. The owner of the wall will be Chayiv. We're going to see, compare this to another case, we'll see exactly why. But the um, simple explanation is, if it's a weak wall, then the person that's putting in there is Peshea. He knows it's not going to last too long. He's putting it in a place where it's going to it's going to collapse. You have to make sure that you don't cause the damage. You were Peshea. You were negligent if you hide it in a wall that's not going to protect. It's not going to protect it. If you put it in a Kaisal Bari, a strong wall, then you did your best to protect and no one should get hurt from it. When the owner breaks it down, then um, it's his fault. He, he uh, uh, You did your best to protect. The truth is, you, know, you put it in his property. But nevertheless, um, it's his responsibility to make sure that it doesn't cause damage. Now, Taisvis asks that if it's his responsibility here, then what about by the Kaisal Ru'ua? He should also have some sort of responsibility. I mean, the explanation is that if you hide it in a koisel ru'ua, in a, in a wall that's going to collapse, you're a peshaya first. You take responsibility first. It's your problem. Okay. Amar I put this now in green. A later Amaira. Um, much later Amaira. Bavel. Amar Avina. So Avina says, Zaysay Meres. Zaysay Meres is a phrase the Gemara uses, which means from this we can learn, but it means literally this says, or this te- this says to us that Hamachase Bayrei, if someone covers his pit Bayrei, Bayrei is his pit Bidalyai with a bucket Shel Chaveri, with his friend's buckets. You know how, like, you can put a bucket on a, um, on a, uh, over a pit, and it will, like, hold it in. 
so it will uh, it will cover the pit. Obab al Dali, the owner of that bucket, shows up. Vinat al Dilye, he takes his bucket away. So now you 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 had a pit, you covered it with someone else's bucket. The guy shows up, and and uh, takes his bucket back. So Chayev Balabar, the owner of the bar, is going to be Chayev. Now let's show how this works. It's the original owner. We'll go down over here. This is a picture that we did in class. I'll explain it. I took this picture actually. We we did it on the board, and then I um, took a picture. It's not fitting well into this, but maybe I can shrink it. Let's see. Oh, wrong way. That's a mistake. Let's try it again. Okay. So what we're seeing here is you have this guy here. I put like a little blade, a knife. This is the Matsnia. Sorry, there's no yamka. I can give him a yamka, I believe. Okay. There's a lot of things he's missing. One of them is a yamka. Okay. So he hides his uh, his knife in a kaisel ru'ua. The owner, that's his um, uh, a, a bulldozer, and he knocks down his wall. It's, a, it's as you can see, it's a weak wall. He shoved it in those cracks over there. He knocks it down. Matsnia is going to be chayiv. I put over there chayiv. It's a little cut off. Okay, R- comes along Ravina and says, "Hey, look at this. We can match up a, a very similar case. Here we have a bar. We have a bar. Uh, that's similar to the knife. You see, I made that line. The bar is like the knife. The bala bar." is the one that's hiding, is like the matzniah. The matzniah is hiding. The balabar is now going to take that bucket. Looks like a cover of a garbage can or something. He's going to cover his pit. Those are just the rocks that took out of the pit. And he's that's similar to the wall. Now, the owner of the bucket is similar to the owner of the wall that's removing the protection. So just like over here, by a kaisel ru'ua, the matzniya is chayev, because you didn't protect it properly, you put it in a weak wall. Here also, you didn't protect it properly, you used someone else's cover, the guy's definitely going to come and take it back. So it's not a good protection, you're chayev, it's, you, you were peshaya in this. Okay, that's what Ravina says. So back into the Gemara, the Gemara now says, Pshita, look, you set it up so perfectly, that's, that's uh, it's obvious. It's exa- it's the exact same thing. So mahu detema. This is a phrase we've had this before, and it is what were we thinking originally? Or mahu is actually what is it detema that we could have said, or that you could have said. Let's do. What is it? Detema is. I'll just let you figure that out. Hasam, you know, means over there, right? This comes from the word. If you were to change that to a shin, it would be sham, and tough and shin are interchangeable. Over there, who delay have a delay? He did not know him. Delay do to notify him. In other words, if you uh, break down your wall and you see in it some thorns, you don't. You have no idea who put those thorns there. It doesn't say a name on it, so you have no way of letting the person know. Look, I'm I'm I broke down my wall. You better take your stuff away. So. Therefore, the person that put it there originally, he's the one that's mainly responsible. And the person who broke it down had no way of no- notifying him. He's even less responsible. Aval hacha, but here, the yadale that he knows him, well, the, the, we're talking about the owner of the bucket, knows the owner of the bar. Havale lo yiduye. He should have notified him. Look, I'm taking my cover, my bucket, you better go protect your bar some other way. And he didn't do that. So maybe I would have thought that the owner of the bucket should be chayev. Kamash Mulan, that it's not so. And the owner of the Ravina is coming to teach us that the owner of the bar is chayev because he did not cover it properly and the other person doesn't get the responsibility just because he took it away, which is an interesting chiddush. Just to go this again, this over. The Balabar is going to be Chayv. He did not cover it well, even though he knows him. And he should have told him that I'm taking it away. But nevertheless, the Chayv still remains on the Balabar. And the same over here. We'll give him a yarmulke as well. Okay. This was lesson four.